Steve, obviously first year as the head coach at Grace King. Talk about how things are going so far and how the transformation has been. Well, the things are, are going pretty well right now. We've got great administrative support from the principal on down. The students are eager to have a football program that they can cheer on. The players are really eager to have a program that they can uh, hopefully get some wins in. And uh, the transformation is going really, really well. I wasn't there before, but all the feedback has been positive. We've, right now we have about 45 guys or so, and they're not just your average guys. Uh, I had about 30 other kids that have come and gone from the program, so I really respect the kids that are willing to come out and kind of take the bull by the horns and really make a mark in turning this program around, and it, I think they'll be rewarded for it. Jefferson Parish, it's a different animal as well because it takes a commitment academically and athletically. You have pass to play, and there's always some attrition there, and I know you stress that with these young men. Yes, sir, I do. Uh, we are a lot more strict than the state. You have to have pass seven of your eight credits, and so it is. It is a privilege to be able to play sports. Academics should come first. We work hard in doing grade checks and stress, and one of our team goals is actually to have nobody in summer school this next year because, uh, you know, when you don't do well in your grades, you miss out on summer workouts for football, and that to me is really whenever you win games in the fall is what you do those June, July months. So that is one of our team goals, monitor grades all year long, not just have brain drain in January, oh, football's done and now a daydream. But again, nobody in summer school, that's one of our team goals. So yes, we do try to keep track of that. How do you change the dynamic? I know they have, you haven't had winning there for quite some time. Uh, what is the, the element that you put into place to help turn that around and change what has been otherwise? Oh, well, they do play football here, but it's not a priority. Yes, sir. Well, one of the first things that, that we did is no talking about the past. Mm -hmm. The past is the past. It has no bearing on what we're doing up there. It has no bearing. None of the plays, none of the wins or losses has any bearing on our season this year. So that's number one. We don't talk about the past at all. Uh, number two, I don't really even talk about winning at all. So we don't talk about winning or losing. We do what we do, we work hard, we lift, we get stronger, we get faster, we get disciplined, and then my belief is, I stress them, winning takes care of itself. We don't, sit, we don't need another person sitting around, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So no talking about the past, and quite frankly, we don't talk about winning or losing. We're there every day, working hard, preparing. The wins and losses will show based upon what we've done. Tough league to play in. Obviously, the West Bank schools in particular are big, strong, and fast. Other than that, they've got no talent, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, actually, as I was driving over here, I imagine this would be some interview question, and you're right. Uh, I've been watching the film. Even before I took the uh, job, I started watching the film, and I've been watching the film since March of all of our games. And you're right. Uh, you know, whatever water system they have on the West Bank, I need to get them to install it <laughs> over here between canal and power down to the interstate and to the lake because that's where our kids come from. And again, I'm going to have to look into that because uh, the utility works needs to come on over here to my district and uh, hook up whatever they got going on over there. And finally, Steve, maybe two or three guys we can look for from uh, Grace King this year that uh, the Fighting Irish will put out there that we can be proud of. Yes, yeah, so, well, and exactly. As much as I joke, I love the kids that are out there with me. They're special, like I said. They're stepping forward. They're not waiting to see, well, what's Grace King going to do? They're out there with me now. You know, if we win a couple games, people will be knocking on our door to come there. I love these kids, though. Their leaders are taking the bull by the horns now. Uh, some of the people you can expect to watch, uh, Alex Perry, senior, good athlete, going to line up at running back some, slot some for us. Uh, obviously, running the spread, the quarterback's always important. We have Curtis Sibley, uh, who's going to be a junior, so we'll have him for some time. Uh, also have another senior, um, Terry Johnson, will be with us. And it always starts with the line. I have a lot of great linemen. I actually have a fair bit of senior linemen this year that are pretty, uh, pretty good. And, you know, it would take me forever to mention them, but uh, have a lot of uh, – you know, good players that are really going to help us change the direction of this program. Steve, thanks very much. Great to have you on board. Best of luck to yes, the sir. Irish in 2010. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks for the interview. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you.